Pisces! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 1st to the 11th. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or connected to someone in your environment or someone who's energetically attached to you, and it is energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa. Okay? Then we're going to go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle, because I do it on screen, and then we're going to do the tarot reading. All right, Pisces. So I was picking up some interesting energy for you. You're very uncomfortable. <laughs> You're very uncomfortable. You're not very happy. Um, no pun intended, but it kind of feels a little bit like fish out of water energy. Like you're out of your element. You're out of your element. You're not in your natural environment. I don't know if you're around like new people or like a new work environment, new work, new work environment. Don't know why that came out so slow. Um, or just around a new person. It's like there's something about your at like your life that's putting you in something you're not usually used to being involved in. Whether it's a situation, an environment, or just a certain type of person or people, it's something you're not used to. You don't really like it. I actually heard the word thirsty. <laughs> I don't think you're thirsty, Pisces. <laughs> I don't think you're thirsty. I think it's just that energy of like, I need water. I need my element. I need my environment. I need my pond. <laughs> I need my pond. I need my ocean you know, however you resonate like with your own element here, Pisces, but whatever it is, you're out of your element and it's making you very uncomfortable. And it does feel involuntary. It doesn't have to be, but it feels involuntary. Even if it's something that, let me put it this way. It's something you know you have to do. So even if you're making the choice to do it, like switching up your work environment, you have to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just the energy of like, oh, I still don't wanna do this, but I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Uh, I don't want to be involved with this person, but I don't have a choice. I don't want to be involved with these people, but I don't have a choice. I don't want to be here, but I don't have a choice. I have to do this. I have to do this. Some of you, it is also about a conversation that you don't want to have, but you have to. I know, I know, Pisces. It's a little stinky, right? It's a little stinky. Um, some of you, I do feel like you're dealing with someone who really does rub you the wrong way. Um, some of you, this could be a romantic interest. Some of you, I feel like most of you, it's a friend, to be honest. I feel like most of you, it's a friend or even just a coworker. Yeah, I don't know what this energy is. It's like, I don't want to deal with you, but I have to. I don't want to have this conversation, but I have to. It's just making you really uncomfortable, Pisces. And I also feel like it's agitating you as well. It's agit yeah, it's agitating you. Um, I feel like it's very necessary. I feel like it's necessary to just kind of get things moving along or to just wrap something up. Whatever it is, Pisces, it's necessary. You know it. You don't like it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get the cards calibrated here. Please bring forth messages of true feeling and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Some of you guys could also just be like not wanting to be social, but maybe you're being forced into social events right now. We are getting into that festive social time. I'm so happy it's October. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm so happy it's October. All right. All right. Please bring forth messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Some of you, this is about something new. Hold on. Um, like, uh, like learning, <laughs> you know, that word, um, where you're actually having to learn something new, or maybe you're going back to school. Some of you, I'm getting like page of pentacles energy with that. Then that's okay. Yeah. And that's why you're uncomfortable because it's literally learning something new or literally taking on a new perspective and you're just trying to get comfortable with it, but you're having a hard time, having a hard time. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Oh, this is interesting. I'm getting a download. Pisces, for some of you, uh, something's making you uncomfortable about incorporating or integrating people in your life. Like, for example, if you're getting married or you're engaged or you started dating someone, it's like you're trying to get them into your world and there's something very uncomfortable about that. You're really worried about that for whoever, whatever Pisces are going through that. You're really worried about that. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. I'm guessing this person's just very different from your social network or your social group. And when that happens, Pisces, you know, that does happen. I mean, you know, not everyone's going to jive with everyone, right? But Pisces, I think that's actually a big indicator that either your network or this person Something might be off there in regards to you. Maybe this person's making you realize that your social network is not um, is not really 
like the same uh cut from the same cloth as you or maybe it could be making you realize that this romantic interest is not cut from the same cloth as you right it's like that kind of energy as well making it very uncomfortable and also oh yeah yeah for those in that situation it's also making you realize you got to make some hard decisions here Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God, my rings. <laughs> hold on, guys. You're my first read of the day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, now we're good. We're good. Got my amethyst and my selenite. Okay. Hmm. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Keep in mind, guys, time is uh, time is not linear. And so it's just a time frame for organizational purposes. Whenever you're guided to watch readings, when you're guided to watch it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Uh, a lot of you Pisceans have grown a lot. Wow. And I feel like in a very, very short amount of time, this could be spiritually or just, you know, your own self growth. Um, either way, there's also a sense of maturity that's come over you Pisces. Yeah. And some of you are really looking at your social network and like, oh, I don't belong here. The star. What did I just say? <laughs> growth, healing. Uh, ooh. You're having more faith in yourself, Pisces, and you're also trying to surrender more to the universe. I like that. You're trying to surrender more to spirit, more to just like, hey, I don't really have control. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You're trying to, especially for those where you're feeling like you're out of your element and you're really missing your own environment or your own comfort zone. I'm feeling social anxiety with that. Um, you're just trying to stay calm and have faith that it's happening for a reason and you just got to deal with it. You're trying to, though. It's hard, but you're trying. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And you know, that's really good energy, Pisces. You could be an Aqua Pisces cusper, by the way, it's Aquarian energy. Um, because I feel like it's helping you stay grounded, even though you're incredibly uncomfortable. Incredibly uncomfortable. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, yeah. What did I just say about being grounded? Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. And then we have, ooh, King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Ooh, who is this? Um, ooh, Pisces, this feels like your energy. This is interesting. So like I said, you're very uncomfortable. You're not... <laughs> you're, you're getting to that place of, of being so uncomfortable that it's like you don't know what to say. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of funny, Pisces, because I can relate to this. I can definitely relate to this. You're you're trying to stay grounded, and it's like, if I start talking, I'll, I'll lose. It's almost like you feel like if you start talking or addressing something, you're going to lose that grounded energy in whatever situation you're finding yourself in. This is interesting. For some of you, this is also an energy of healing something with someone, trying to find balance with someone. Resolution, thank you. Resolution, some of you guys are having a really hard conversation where you're trying to resolve something or close out a cycle with someone. But it's not easy. I feel like you're bringing up really harsh, not harsh. You're bringing up really tough uh, topics here, uh, tough issues between the two of you, but it needs to be addressed. And in that scenario, you're you're having a tough time because you can tell the other person's very uncomfortable as well. You're kind of like mirroring each other for those where that resonates. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Oh, I'm hearing, oh, oh, I'm hearing some pieces of conversation of how that conversation is going to go. I can't believe you're bringing this up. It needs to be brought up. Yeah, you're taking a very mature approach for whoever is having that kind of conversation. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 1st to the 11th. Uh, ooh, yep, there we go. Two of Swords in reverse, Moon and Libra energy. We are in that new Moon Libra energy for the next month or so until the 27th, I believe, and then it goes into new Moon in Scorpio. Either way, you're very clear-headed here, Pisces. You're very clear-headed, and you are making the right decisions for yourself, okay? Ooh, even if they're the hard ones. Okay, Pisces, let's go ahead and get into your reading here. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please understand that these are very general readings and not all messages will resonate for everybody. Messages come through for those who need them as you heard me set the intention. 
Uh, we are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. Gender does not matter, so don't hang on to the gender of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And like I said, whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Any other questions about the channel or tarot or anything in general, a lot of information down below. Okay. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Oh, but... So you guys are asking me about personals. I don't do personal readings. Um, if you guys are interested in personal readings, who does them? Uh, Brooke from Empress of Duality does them. Danny from Northern Comfort Tarot does them. Uh, Steve from uh, Stephen Libby Starborn Messenger, he does them. Uh, and Jason from Mary Blight Tarot does them. Um, Eval Butterfly, Eval Butterfly. Oh shit, I got, girl, I gotta contact you. <laughs> I don't know if you watch Pisces. I got to reach out to you. I am so sorry. Oh, Lord, it's been so busy. Okay, anyway, I'm subscribed to all of them, guys. So go ahead and check them out. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? October 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? October 1st to the 11th. Something's, lo oh, something's lost its shine. Pisces, we might be having a breakup chat. Just saying. Or someone could be having a breakup chat with you. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? October 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? October 1st to the 11th. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. I, I hope that got caught on camera. That was crazy. I've never seen a card of so much energy. Ooh, King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I feel a lot of love off that card, Pisces. And it's funny because I feel like someone's having a breakup chat here. Someone's in love. I don't know who's in love, but someone's in love. <laughs> someone's in love. All right, let's keep it going. Wow. Right out the gate, Pisces. This could also be love for, for yourself. This could also be self-love. I just feel like beaming love, beaming love. Ooh. Any messages for Pisces? Oh, Pisces, someone could be loving on you a lot and that could be making you very uncomfortable. <laughs> that could be it. Someone could be showing you a lot of love, a lot of attention, a lot of affection, and it could be making you uncomfortable because maybe it's someone that you're not used to. Oh, there we go. Because maybe it's someone that you're not really used to or a type of person you're not used to or you're not used to this much affection or you're not used to someone loving on you so much. Yeah, that's definitely for some Pisceans out there, which is funny because Pisces, you usually like affection, but you know everyone's different any messages for pisces regarding love october 1st to the 11th Ooh, six of swords aquarian energy so this is forward movement i feel love moving forward i honestly yeah i feel love coming forward moving forward and there's like there's such an awesome energy about this person whoever they are pisces it's an awesome little energy here but for some of you like i said this, it's making you uncomfortable because it's it's a lot it's a lot of love. It's a lot of emotion kind of coming at you. That's for some of you. Others, it's about loving yourself and making the moves that you have to make, having the uncomfortable conversations, making the uncomfortable decisions to find peace and to go wherever it is you're guided to go. Also indicative of travel here. Someone could be traveling to you. You could be traveling as well. I just heard domestic and it's most likely domestic. Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces? Although I gotta be honest, I'm getting a Europe vibe here too. So, oh, well, some of you guys could be in Europe and that could be domestic, right? <laughs> Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th? Oh, hold on. I think I got a peeker. Mm -hmm -hmm. No? Oh, I didn't. Okay, that's cool. Any messages for Pisces? Oh, wow. Pisces, what the hell is going on? Two of Wands, Aries energy, and the Magician. Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Someone's needing to make a decision. Someone's at a crossroads. They need to choose a new path. Pisces, I do feel like this is you. I feel like you're trying to choose a new path for yourself. For some of you, that new path involves love and someone who loves you. Others, it's breaking away from love or breaking away from a relationship because you love yourself and going wherever it is you're guided to go, okay? Magician can be a very single energy. Any other messages for Pisces? Like I said, it's going to be different for everybody. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? October 1st to the 11th. Page of Wands. Pisces, 
some of you have someone who really loves you and they want to they want to take a path with you okay a nice peaceful loving flirty kind of path here others of you like i said you're breaking away from a relationship or you're breaking away from love to kind of go solo because that page of wands energy is also create creativity that was hard to come out uh creativity and inspiration uh, some of you could be getting news about a job. Sorry, that's coming in really strong. Some of you could be manifesting something in your career and you're finally getting the good news that you can actually move ahead in something that you've been planning for some time. And some of you are moving forward in that because it's something you have a lot of love for, a lot of passion for, and it's going to bring you a lot of peace. Others are breaking away from a relationship to seize this opportunity in career. And like I said, others are going into a relationship. Three different scenarios going on here. Any messages for Pisces? Oh, hmm. <laughs> Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Who is this? Pisces, for those where you're coming into something really amazing, whether you're choosing a career path for yourself and breaking away from a relationship, um, or you're choosing love, right? Or you're choosing a relationship that has a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of peace. You got some haters. Some of y'all got some haters here, okay? For those who are leaving a relationship, this is the person you're leaving, all right, so like I said, take it as it resonates. You're all in different scenarios here. Overall energy, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Oh, man. With the Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. This is surrendering. Surrendering and letting go of pain is actually what I'm getting with this. Letting go of pain, letting go of, of stress, letting go of burdens, letting go of, of lies and deceit as well. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah, Pisces, whatever it is you're doing, you're surrendering to it. You're surrendering to what's coming your way. And for a lot of you, like I said, this is a good news about a career move and you're going to take that path solo away from a relationship. Others are going to go into a relationship with someone who's got a lot of love and a lot of passion for you. Either way, you've got haters. And if you're leaving someone, they're hella pissed. They're hella pissed. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and break this down a little bit here. I love this energy. Let's look at this energy. Let's look at the six of swords. Mm, use Rider Weight for this one. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Pisces regarding love. Some of you are learning that lesson that whatever is meant for you is meant for you. And you're surrendering. You're surrendering. You're, you're learning to also relinquish control, Pisces. Some of you guys are working on that. Tell me about the Six of Swords. So I have a Six of Swords for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. So I have a Six of Swords for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Okay. And I'm hearing Aries. So I have a Six of Swords for Pisces. So I have a Six of Swords for Pisces. Re Ooh. Temperance. Oh, I love it. Sagittarian energy. This is my divine intervention card. Also my fix it angel card. It's also about balance and healing and fixing. Okay. Whatever this, whatever this energy is, if you're going into a relationship with this person or you have that self-love for yourself to go where it is you're guided to go, this is all being divinely guided. Like I said, relationship or just a business opportunity, it's divinely guided. There's divine intervention here. Some of you, you manifested this. Tell me about the six of swords for Pisces. Some of this could also be playing out in Sag season as opposed to Libra or Scorpionic season. <laughs> sorry, Pisces. King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. This is just too good. This is just too good. Hold on. Why can't I pick this up? You could be dealing with a Scorp Sag Cusper, not necessarily. Uh, <laughs> Pisces. Some of you are seriously entering a very majorly loving, divinely guided, balanced, peaceful relationship. It's, it's, it's kind, it's, I never get these cards together. I don't think I've ever seen this combination, actually, now that I think about it. There's a lot of love here and a lot of balance. And like I said, for some of you, this is about you choosing you, having enough love for yourself to go where it is you're guided to go and have balance in your life. Tell me about Six of Swords. Tell me about Six of Swords. For Pisces, regarding love. Ooh, got a nice little batch there. Hold on, I get more cards out here. Time of the Six of Swords for Pisces, regarding love. Let's see what we have here. Eight. Death and, oh, 
focus. There we go. Death in reverse, scorpionic energy with five of pentacles in reverse, taurian energy, and the knight of wands. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Some of you guys are dealing with straight up Sag. I'm just saying here. Um, this energy is, it feels like a resurrection energy. Oh, some of you guys are getting your libido back. Congratulations. <laughs> That's kind of cool. For some of you, this person like really kind of turns it back on for you. Maybe it's just, maybe you've been struggling with that. No shade. We've all been there, right? We've all had our dry spells. That's definitely for some of you. Um, yeah, I'm getting more of this like creative energy here too. Some of you guys are, had a rut in your creative endeavors and that's coming back online for you in a really big way because you are loving on yourself and going wherever it is you're guided to, going wherever, wherever it is you're guided to go. That's for those where you're, this is a big career move or just a big move in general in your life away from a relationship or away from a person, you choosing you, right? You choosing you. For some of you, this person that's got a lot of love for you is someone from your past. That's only going to be for a few of you. Again, a lot of passion, a lot of love right here. Overall energy, we do have seven of pentacles. Taurian energy, investment. Investment and reevaluation and trying to practice patience as well. Yeah, Pisces, a lot of you, like I said, you're choosing you out of love and wanting peace. And because you are getting some good news about a creative endeavor or a business endeavor, wherever it is you're guided to go next, it's something you manifested. It's something you've had patience with and you're ready to invest more in yourself here. And because of that, your creativity is coming back online as well. For those of you where this is a romantic interest, where you're coming into a relationship, this is someone that I feel like there's been kind of a, how do I say this? Planning. There's someone who's been planning this for a while. Uh, they want to come out of the cold with you. Like I said, for some of you, it is someone from your past here. Others, it's someone inspiring your libido to come back online. Again, congratulations for whoever that's for. And it is someone who's being divinely guided here, who does have got a lot of love for you. And a lot of passion as well. And a new path will be chosen with this person. Either way, don't forget, you got some haters, okay? All right, Pisces, let's move it ahead. Let's look at the two of wands. Let's see your path here. Let's see your path. Mm. I know, I always take a while to pick the decks. I'm very picky. Yeah, let's do Santa Muerte. I think I loved this deck for the water signs. I don't know why, I just do. Playing about the two of wands. Playing about the two of wands for Pisces. Play with the two of wands for Pisces. Play with the two of wands for Pisces. A lot of you where you're choosing you and your own path, you're really sick of people not being authentic. You're really sick of people betraying you, of people backstabbing you. Oh, of people having like, you know, fronts. <laughs> My words are not with me yet. Play with the two of wands for Pisces. Some of the two of wands for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Some of the two of wands energy. Some of the two of wands energy. Yeah, I feel a heavy manifestation energy here, Pisces. I really feel like you manifested this. Some of the two of wands for Pisces. Oh my God, I want to talk. Less cards, please. Less cards. Some of the two of wands for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy with the Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Like I said, some of you are coming together in a relationship here, and there might have been a little bit of a standstill because there was a block. I don't know what this block, yeah, I don't know what this block is. It's going to be different for all of you, but either way, manifesting a way out of that block to move forward with this person for those where this is a romantic interest. Others of you where it's just choosing you, it's about having that, more of that self-love for yourself here and making the right decisions. Two of Cups is also about decisions. It is also about decisions. It is a two, okay? Yeah, just trying to make the right choice. Yeah, you had to work through a block here, Pisces, and I feel like that's your discomfort with the situation that I was picking up on. And then you harness that magician energy and you make it happen. But yeah, there's definitely a big block here. No matter what situation you're in, to getting on that path, you're going to deal with this block. You're going to deal with it, whatever it is. Keep in mind, um, this is the designated Mercury retrograde card in this position, uh, which does happen on the 31st of October, but the pre-shadow starts on the 11th, okay? So I'm about the two of wands for Pisces regarding love. So I'm about the two of wands for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Got a couple other cards out here. Let's see what we have here. 
Is this the nine? Yes. So we have the sun, Leo energy, and the nine of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Like I said, some of you are coming into a relationship. It's being illuminated that you ain't going to be single no more. <laughs> okay? I'm just saying. Others of you that are choosing you and going on to a new path for you solo, uh, this is an energy of illumination, of realizing that you want more. You want more for yourself. You want more stability for yourself. A lot of you, this is about your career and pentacles where you're choosing you. Okay? Overall energy. Oh, looky, looky, looky. The star. The star. Aquarian energy. This is heading towards destiny. I'm getting destiny with that card. Heading to where it is you're supposed to go. I mean, just like what I've been saying, right? Heading where it is you're supposed to go, whether it's a very divinely guided, yummy, blessed union here, or you just got a lot of, enough self-love for yourself to choose the right path and to make the right decisions, even if it means leaving someone behind for some of you. Okay? I like it. Underneath that, by the way, we have a nine of wands. <laughs> Sag energy with that king of cups scorpionic energy could also be water uh or air here I feel like this king has had to do some healing for those where you're coming into a relationship with someone you're having that uncomfortable conversation because there's been a block between the two of you and you're working through it and then you're you're healing it you're healing that block for those where again you're moving into a relationship now let's get into the haters because Pisces no matter what you're headed towards something pretty damn amazing whether it's career, your own happiness, solo, or a really amazing, loving relationship. Either way, you're coming to something really nice. Let's see who this hater is, okay? And like I said, for some of you, this is also the person you're leaving. For those leaving someone. Um, hold on, let me get a little coffee. Okay, okay. Um, mm, yeah, I'll go for Gilded. Woo! Wow, man, people always gotta hate, right? People always gotta hate. So I have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So I have the Queen of Wands in reverse. For Pisces regarding love. Oh, you know what? I do want to look at this block. Okay, yeah. Before we look at this queen, let's look at what this block is. I'm gonna use Lenormand on this one. I forgot that quickly. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So I have this Eight of Wands in reverse. What is this block here for Pisces? So I'm at Eight of Wands in reverse for Pisces. What is this block here for Pisces? October 1st to the 11th. So I'm at the Eight of Wands in reverse. For some, it's being honest with yourself about need needing to make some hard decisions. That's definitely some for some of you, but I just got intuitively. So I'm at the Eight of Wands in reverse. Others of you where you're dealing with the King of Cups where there needs to be healing, they're kind of a wounded warrior here, okay? They've got their own healing to do. They've got their own baggage and their own mistrust kind of going on. But that's being healed through having conversations. Yeah, that's being healed through having a very uncomfortable conversation is what I'm getting. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands in verse. I know I haven't even cards out yet. <laughs> Tell me about this block for Pisces. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Yeah, eight of Cups. Ooh. Eight, the Eight of Cups always leads to the Ten which is what you're focusing on, your happiness and your stability. So I'm with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Ooh, we've got the messenger, writer, whatever you want to call it here. I, it can go both ways as far as like, you know, terminology is concerned. Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy, Wish Fulfillment. You have the Nine of Cups, Minor Arcana to the Major, the Star, so the Minor to the Major here, as above, so below. Some of you, like I said, this is just where you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do, destiny. What you're supposed to do. This is about communication and movement. Quite literally, like someone traveling to talk, someone traveling to give a message, or someone just wanting to, to get moving towards their happy place. Yeah, you don't like this block. You want to move past this block. Whatever, whatever situation you're finding yourself in. Sorry, my mouth isn't working all of a sudden. <sighs> yeah, because communication's all messed up here. Tell me about Eight of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. I know pre-shadow starts on the 11th, but I'm like, my God, am I already, like, are we already in Mercury retrograde energy? Because a lot of light workers, myself included, have had trouble communicating. So I have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Oh, I guess Mercury's in Libra until a couple days. That might be it. So I have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I bet on the third, communication's going to be a lot smoother. Ooh, diviner, diviner. Don't know how to say it. <laughs> 37 cyclical energy here. This is intuition. It's the esoteric. Okay, it's intuition. It's the it's prophetic. Getting prophetic with this. 
Pisces, you're very intuitive. You might be going within into your intuition to figure out what to do and how to have this conversation. I feel like you're the one who's prompting this conversation. I feel that really strongly. It could be the other person, but I really feel like you're doing that because this other person over here is very much, you know, guarded, right? And for those where it's your own self-growth, you need, you're needing to have the conversation with yourself, right? For those who are, who are choosing you and going on a new path, you need to have honest conversation with yourself that will be very healing. And for those where you're leaving someone behind, you're worried about having the conversation with this person. So you're using your intuition to figure out the best way to go about this. Sign with the Eight of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Sign with the Eight of Wands in reverse for Pisces. <laughs> the star. Six of Cups. Aquarian energy here. This is very indicative of like the star card here in the deck, which you've had a couple times now. 16 breaking down to a seven. Again, being on your path knowing the right way to go, knowing what to say, knowing what to say. And like I said, for some of you, this is a conversation you're having with yourself, right? On the shit that you need to do and whatever block this is and whatever wounding you need to take care of to make the right decision here. You're trying to see the path ahead. Your intuition will give you the answer, but I can tell this conversation is going to be uncomfortable, even if it's just with you and yourself or with this person that you're leaving behind or this person you're heading towards. Talk about the Eight of Wands in reverse. Like I said, different for everybody. Talk about Eight of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Now we've got the Book of Secrets. 26 breaking down to an eight with the Ten of Pentacles. What did I say? You want your Ten of Cups. You want your Ten of Pentacles. That's what your focus is on, whether it's with someone or solo. Yeah, this is you trying to dig up what's ahead for you. Careful with that energy, Pisces. I feel like some of you are almost trying too hard. When we try too hard to look at our destiny and what's ahead for us, what's in store for us, a lot of times spirit will start shutting you down or just start confusing yourself, right? So don't get too caught up in that, but that's what this energy is. Having a conversation with yourself or another person and all in the midst of that, trying to figure out what's really ahead. Don't try to do that too much, okay? Overall, we have, ooh, coffin. Energy of eight with the nine of pentacles here. Again, more about your stability. And then we've got the bear. Energy of 15 breaking down to a six. You got a lot of tens here. Uh, ten of wands energy. And then we have the nine of swords with the anchor. 35 breaking down to an eight. So nine of pentacles, nine of swords, ten of wands. We also have the ten of pentacles here. This is you. Okay, yeah. This is you getting out of that block. Getting out of that block. For some of you, it's it, is this just stubbornness? Wait a minute. It's an energy of feeling stuck. Whatever this block is, it's been going on for a while, Pisces, whether it's relating to wounding or just a, something in your environment that needs to change. For some of you, that's what it is. Some of you, it's something in your environment that needs to change that you feel very stuck to. That needs to come to an end. Some of you, it is your living situation. Some of you, it's your living situation. Some of you, it's a work situation that needs to come to an end. It's kept you too stuck for too long. And it's created a really big block for you. And you've got better, bigger and better things to do. And you know that. And it's requiring some hard decisions to do it. Whether, again, you have to leave someone behind, leave behind a job, choosing yourself, or choosing a new person that can help you get there and get you out of this energy, okay? Different for everybody. Okay, now let's look at the Queen of Wands in reverse. So like I said, for some of you, it's just your haters because you're heading into something amazing. Regardless of what it is, you're heading into something amazing. Others, this is the person you're leaving behind. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Either way... Very jealous, very resentful energy that I'm feeling over here. Some of the Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Some of the Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Ooh. Yeah, some of you where this is just a hater, they look at you like a rival, like your competition. I don't like that energy. Some of the Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Some of you are leaving a Queen of Wands energy to embrace a King of Cups energy. That's only going to be for a few of you. That's not most of you, okay? That is not most of you. Because I feel like most of you are leaving someone behind to choose a career move or just choose a new place to be, a new point in your life. But some of you are choosing to embrace someone who is you're, who you're divinely guided to be with and who has a lot of love and passion for you, leaving behind a very uh, resentful, kind of jealous energy, okay? Again, only a few of you. Talking about the Queen of Wands in reverse. Tell me about this energy. Tell me about this hater slash haters. Tell me about the Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love. 
October 1st to the 11th. Time about Queen of Wands in reverse. Time about Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Ooh. Pisces. Ah. Four of Wands, Aries energy with the King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Oh, Pisces, they mad. They mad, okay? Pisces, for some of you, like I said, this is someone you're leaving behind and all they can think about is how you shouldn't be leaving them behind. That's all they can think about and they're really pissed about it. They're really pissed about it. They're really bitter about it. They're really resentful about it and they're hating on you for it. Um, they're wondering if they should just try to come in anyway and just try to snatch you up. Others where you're like, you're choosing like your solo path or like a career path. Um, they want to be part of that. That's weird. Um, they want to be part of the foundation you're building for yourself. They feel really left out and they don't like it. They really don't like it. And of course, if you're choosing a King of Cups, you know, as opposed to a career move or whatever, a um, lot of anger and hate, hatred there. So I have the Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces. So I have the Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces. Regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. You're very aware of this person. Uh, for those where it's just a hater or haters, you're very aware. You're very painfully aware. Yeah, it feels painfully aware. And you're annoyed by it, but you're, you know, you're just doing what you got to do, right? So I have a Queen of Wands in reverse. Ooh. So I have a Queen of Wands in reverse. This is getting juicy. So I have a Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces. So I have a Queen of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding love, October 1st to the 11th. Wow. Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy also Gemini for me as a reader. Yeah, it's coming to light, Pisces, that you're leaving this person or that you're going forward with confidence and with a lot of self-love. So like I said, if you're choosing a career move or just a new path for yourself solo, this person is very aware of that before you even make the move. Your haters are very aware of it before you even make the move. Okay. Um, and others where you're actually going into a relationship, a king of cups, whether you're leaving this person behind or it's just people hating on the fact you're coming into something really nourishing and really amazing and very blessed. Um, they're, they're what they, they know what's going to happen. It's like this person knows this person's very intuitive. You got an intuitive hater, an intuitive ex, or your haters are keeping that close of an eye on you. They see what's coming in for you. They see where you're going. And they feel like they should be a part of it. They're very jealous of what you have. They want what you have, Pisces. Overall energy, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Because I don't think you're ready, Pisces. Yeah. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Could also be water or air with the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or uh, Scorpio here. They're pissed because they see that you're coming into an amazing connection. That is a true pair situation. A lot of love here. And for others, they're jealous that you're choosing you and that you've got so much freaking love for yourself and that you are balanced in your masculine and feminine energies and that you are grounded in these energies, even if you're making uncomfortable decisions to get there, which also for some of you, you manifested this path, this new path for you away from this person or towards this or towards an amazing person. Okay. Like I said, different for everybody. Either way, you're getting on a new path. There's a lot of love there for yourself. And if you're going in there with a new partner, a lot of love between the two of you and this person is hella jealous and your haters are jealous and your ex is jealous. Wow. Well, Pisces, congratulations, okay? <laughs> and because we got quite a few energies going on here, for some of you, this is multiple people involved. Um, you can be any one of these people, okay? But Pisces, this looks beautiful. This looks yummy. This looks amazing. No matter which way you slice it, career, solo move, new relationship it's all in the, it's all in the name of stability and love for yourself which is beautiful okay let's go ahead and pull some advice here from the spirit animal deck but remember don't try to look too hard into what's coming i feel it's almost like hold on why can't i pick this up Ooh, hold on don't try to look too hard into what's coming because i i do feel like that that's almost making the block worse okay whatever the block is for you to getting on this new path 
Any advice for my Pisceans? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? I feel like, Pisces, you've been sitting with this for a long time. It's been bothering you for a long time. But for some reason, you're... I think it's more for people who are leaving someone or just have, like, one hater in particular. There's something, like, they, they know. Like, they know a hell of a lot more than you think they know. I don't like that energy. It makes me almost feel like they've been snooping on you. Any advice from my Pisceans regarding this spread? 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 I love it, Pisces. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. 57, that breaks down to a three, communication. <laughs> what did I say? Having that uncomfortable conversation. You can do it, Pisces. You can do it. This is having confidence that you can pull it off and you can get through it relatively unscathed, no matter how uncomfortable it is, no matter how much anxiety you have over it. You can do it. You can have this conversation, okay? With yourself, for those who need to have a conversation with yourself or with, you know, these people. Any other advice for Pisces? Oh, what did I say, Pisces? Starfish spirit, open open to infinite possibilities. Open, Jesus. 59, break it down to a five. You got a lot of doors opening here, Pisces. Like I said, you're coming to something amazing. Something amazing, whether it's just a big ass career move that's a blessing, or you're going into a new relationship, or you're just taking a new path away from someone. It's very nourishing, and you are opening a lot of doors here, Pisces. It's, it's what you need to do for yourself. You know it. You know it. You can do it. You can do it. Just do it. You can do it. Okay. Any other advice from my Pisceans regarding this spread? Ah, uh -huh. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. You got two fives here. You are going through a lot of change with this, Pisces. A lot. I feel like it's it's almost like one big fat decision that changes or touches a lot of things in your life here. Okay. And some of you could be moving. I would date a lot of travel cards. Uh, but with Nightingale spirit, you guys know me who've been with me for a while. When this card comes out for me as a reader, it's indicative of a very significant love interest being involved in this. I would definitely say so for some of you, but it's also about re that reminder that you've got a lot of love for yourself. You have a lot of love for yourself and the divine loves you as well because you're being divinely guided to make these decisions, okay? You're surrounded by love, Pisces, even if it's coming from within. Any other advice from Pisces regarding this spread? Any other advice from Pisces regarding this spread? That's it. Overall energy. Ooh, what did I say? Manifestation. So this is a manifestation energy. Electric eel spirit. <laughs> Excuse me. Bring your ideas to life. 24 breaking down to a six. Being in your element, Pisces. You are going to be back in your element, I promise. Once you deal with getting away from this person or making the decisions you have to make to get on the path you want to get on for yourself or heading into this really divinely guided loving relationship, whatever it is, Pisces, you will be back in your element after having the uncomfortable conversations, making the hard decisions. I do feel like it's one decision, though, that's affecting all of like, a lot of different aspects of your life. Either way, you manifested this and it will come to fruition. You'll be back in your watery element and you're going to feel great and balanced about it. OK, you will. You'll feel amazing. You just got to believe you can do it. You can do it, Pisces. You can do it. OK. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.